I should start by wishing all of you a very happy new year. It's one of the first uh, days of a new year and a new summer season coming up. And uh, we're going to do this pattern of the month film. It's going to be our 34th film. It's crazy how uh, time just flies away. And I was here with Ludde discussing uh, how, how fast time goes. The beer is getting more and more grey, or whiter and whiter. Uh, it's now 38 years ago I started threading flies, uh, which is uh, crazy. I had my little international fly time, was the company before threading flies. I've been doing this now professionally for a long, long time. Uh, our little Freddie and Flies company we run now has been um, um, doing it the way we do it through our web. Uh, I think we're on our fifth year now. And actually, I would like to do one thing because uh, here I have one of our orders uh, from Christer Kaiser from Krydbo in Sweden. And Krista has no idea I'm doing this, but actually it's like this. We ship worldwide uh, and, and been doing that for some time. And Krista's order is number 10,000. So we now sent out 10,000 packs around the world. And ah, here we go. We're going to send Krista one of our table covers. He ordered a nasty banana TTTBTT nobody PM pack and uh, he's now getting one of these same I have right here. It's so good. Hope you like it Krista. I hope you watch this uh, since you're a fly tire or maybe your pals can tell you. Tell you you just won this or got this. Anyway I was going to say it's so good to have a black background when you tie the light flies and today we're gonna do like I said last film we're gonna do something totally different and today we're gonna do <coughs> a fly that I normally fish in tiny sizes uh, and it's something as odd as a white fly I call this pattern uh, yellow white wing uh, because it's got a little bit yellow underneath and uh, it's a pretty cool little fly and uh, being a bit nostalgic here I can back this to uh, 1984 fishing with uh, when I was guiding I was fishing with an American guy he's no longer with us now Bob Norheim uh, Bob was running an international travel agency called International Oh, Fishing International and uh, we were on the gala and uh, Bob showed up we had a bright day and he came with them small white pure white steelhead flies and uh, I looked at those and I didn't believe he was going to catch anything on them to be honest with you we were the f been fishing our and flies or a roll on and flies with good success but other, otherwise we were on green or black and, and these colors but um, Bob made me realize that white can be a really good color and uh, you need to maybe be a bit brave to first tie on that pure white fly and fish it but ever since this uh, days in back in the 80s I've been fishing white flies and uh, during certain conditions they are super effective and my yellow white wing I fish them this is like a big one for for this pattern but I actually taken fish on them really big too on the early season fishing but today I'm gonna tie it a little bit smaller Bigger than I normally fish it, just so you guys can see what I do. Uh, so, let's start tying then. Coffee is good. Always have a bit of coffee. Let's take this order away and see what we're going to do here. 
Uh, I'm gonna tie this on our BTTs, our brass turbo tubes. And uh, the reason I tie this pattern on the brass turbo tube is that it's going to be a light fly. I want it want to be possible. I want it to be possible to fish it right under the surface. Um, I've chosen our fluorescent yellow one, and uh, I'm gonna fish that. Uh, together with a loose body, the way I have it right here. And uh, uh, I'm gonna tie, see where I have all my stuff here. I'm trying to prepare, but it's always like this. Okay, so I'm gonna tie a loose body on a fluorescent yellow uh, tubing, medium tubing, and I'm gonna tie the BTT on a white, extra small, and the white will then fit also to make a little uh, cone on the loose body. Uh, I start by cutting an angle on this, just like that. And now I have to excuse, I think I'm crazy and you're right, I searched the whole house for a white lighter and I didn't find one, so we have to do it with a black one. Okay, so I start by melting this just a little bit to get a little edge. And um, just wait a second or so, so this can be hard again. And then with a bit of angle here, I just put this on to the BTT. When it's coming through, I just pull this part. And I put uh, the white through, I cut it with an angle and I put it through a little bit so I can grab it. And the thing with our... Uh, painted colors, the fluorescent painted ones, is that you always get a little bit of paint in this uh, in this hole and it can be a little tight but I'm, I told you so many times how important it is to keep uh, the tight cone or tube uh, and not get a cone or tube that move uh, that's gonna break the plastic. Okay, so today I'm gonna tie with our stealth thread. Um, I have friends and, and uh, there's people who's been buying this thread that doesn't tie with anything else. It's the most flexible thread ever on the market. It's just super flexible and it's not visible. So that's why uh, I uh, use this on a fly like this, where I don't want the thread to be seen through dubbings or uh, through the very light colors. Put a little thread on and then I can make it um, uh, can put a little bit of glue here and that's yes because I don't want the thread to slip uh, on the BTT. A little bit of thread and then I'm going to do this a little bit different now than when I've been tying on these before because I normally put the hackle here and then a wing but and then a soft tackle in front. But when I want a very translucent fly, what I can do instead is that I can take just a little bit of dubbing, put a little bit of dubbing. I use our uh, uh, diamond pearl color, put a little bit on. Super easy to dub this. And I put the dubbing close to the BTT. Can save that for later. The brush and pull this, brush this out a little bit, just pulling out a few fibers, get a little sparkle. And uh, just under everything. Uh, after doing that, it's time to add a little color. Uh, I use our Angel Hair HD 
in our magma yellow color. Take a few strands, put them on and double back. Just like I always do with our flash materials so they can't slip. Here I now got a bit of sparkle underneath and uh, it's a little long maybe. And I can trim away those if it's too much afterwards. It's always better to tie in more uh, flash than uh, you actually want because it's easy to just take it away. Underwing, <clears throat> yellow soft air. And I think maybe one of the mistakes people do here is to make the underwing too big. Take a little bit, brush it through. This way I untangle the hair and also take away this uh, under fur. Look at that. Make sure the strands are untangled and then I taper by pulling. Look at the wing, pull out, look at the wing. So I get a nice taper. About half a centimeter wide, put it in on top. Look so I think it looks good. Move hands and just tie it in on the BTT. Raise this and pull it a little bit before you cut it off. Always looks so it looks good. Then I take a little bit of angel hair. This is a simple fly and uh, but it's it's important still to mix hair and flash uh, to get that really nice uh, shine to it and when you have it in the water don't take too much though I want it to be white like this just a few fibers tie them in one or two turns and double back. Oh, hanging down there. These are so uh, thin yet you don't really need to to um, uh, cut them with a scissor. You can just pull them off. Okay, so time for the wing. Let's see. I used to have three pieces here. Uh, let me have a look what happened here. I think so. Oh, here they are. So, how brave are you? Do you want to fish the grayish yellow fly? You use light gray hair. You want a little bit lighter? You can have a piece of hair where it's mixed with gray and white. Or you can be super brave and you can actually fish the pure white wing and i on this pattern i like the white i want it to be as white as possible and if you find a piece of hair that is like what we say it's glassy it's like glass you can see through it it's the best hair I do the same, brush this through by unta unt untangling, by brushing, and then I move my fingers up, look at the wing. Quite a K taper, but I want a few long fibers here, so I get a nice little taper in good shape like that. Between half and one centimeter, and tie it in. Look at it, so I get a good taper, so the white is longer than the yellow. I want to move this a little bit, to get a little bit longer, and then tie it in. I have one of these guys that are messing up my tying here. 
I can just take it, take it away. Looks so it's pressed down on the sides. Especially important on a clear water fly that it's really translucent, meaning it's white like this. And I cut off. And I throw it on the floor, even though it's it's me that clean up here. Maybe that's why it's so messy. Anyway, take the wing, feel it. See, so you have the right taper, few strands, looking good. I then uh, add a couple of jungle cocks. What I can do, I can use a yellow dyed one, or I can use the natural one. The important thing with the jungle cock is that we do it the right way. I now I show you every little film. I'm going to do it again. And that's the citus. The citus is the proof that this is domestic bird and not coming from the wild. Okay, and I take the jungle cocks and I shape them over my finger, pulling over my nail. getting a good sh shape and I always start with the one closest to me because here I have a little bit more I want it to curve perfectly like this look at the jungle cock tie it in and make sure it's quite long uh, so it will be seen behind the hackle that's coming like that i try to cut between tying in all different materials and then i just take the other one make look from behind from above and see that it's got the same length and i tie it in Good or is it not good? I think that's no good. Here I can say one thing that I say when I do fly demonstrations is that it's if you have something that you don't think it's good, it's better to redo it because otherwise your fly box is going to end up with a lot of flies that you really don't want to fish. Okay, it was a little bit too high up. To my taste so I try again and uh, to me that looks a lot better like that a little bit of glue just to make sure that this will stay be careful use support just put on a little bit and then time for a hackle and I'm just gonna put on one soft tackle here and uh, I treat all my feathers the same I make sure that I pull away what I don't want this is the softest the, the part that will give best motion and I want that to the front so that's why I just turn this feather and I create the little triangle and I cut it off by support, put the scissor on the finger and move the material and cut it off and tie it in. Move the thread down on the extra small tubing. Take this, maybe I can use my plier here. It should be here somewhere. And uh, I almost don't dare to say this, but uh, uh, pliers and cutters are on the way to us. So those of you who have been waiting should soon have them. Double by pulling, making sure all the fibers come one side. And it's a bit tricky when you have a feather that is this soft 
and uh, I've showed you before that the good thing with our plier is that it's heavy so I can let go here and look at things and I can just afterwards just tie it in it's like everything on a fly it should be tied in really really hard uh, the harder you pull your materials the stronger the fly will be and um, that's why it's good to have a flexible thread because it's when you use the flexibility on the thread pull it out put the turns on it will grab and hold the material okay Time for a cone, and I'm using a micro tungsten turbo, and uh, I just pull it on, uh, and again, easier when you cut the tubing. Uh, I pull it on, and then I take a little glue, and uh, you guys seen me do this before, know that I use support, put a little glue a little bit away, from the hackles, I don't want the hackles to suck up the glue, then it will not swim very nicely. And I pull them back, take the thread, and pick up some glue. And I can wait a second or two, and I can just take the thread away. Easiest now is to take the fly out, or I pipe pull this down a little bit closer before I take it out of the vise and pull down the cone and pull it down tight and the good thing with the cone is that it will protect uh, the thread take this cut it off two or three mil i i need quite a little bit of of, of plastic on such a small cone bigger cone a little bit longer and i melt it down Just a little bit at a time, make sure it holds the cone that way. Wait a second or two and you're done. So, yellow white wing. Nice little shape. Maybe some hair a little bit far down there, but it's better to have the hair down to create that broad fly that will be translucent and will give a wing that the light will come through. I think it's important on all flies, but especially on these um, sunshine flies. Okay, so let's do a little body for this. Normally, on a fly like that, I fish it with a bare tube. I can do a, a clear one, I can do a glue one, I can do can do a black one if I want, but normally with the yellow white wing, I do the yellow one. But I can also dress this. And dressing this, I start by cutting, like I do on most of the flies where I have, where I connect, <coughs> sorry, where I connect an extra small and a medium. And I take this and I put on the extra small <coughs> on the needle and our tubing needle is made in the four different diameters as our tubing system so you use one needle for everything and the reason i cut that is that when i then oh, then put some thread on here the thread that i put over the medium here will grab and hold the extra small and that way I don't need any glue I don't uh, because the glue made it makes it also uh, solid and hard and brittle so it's much better to have the more flexible the system can be the better it is that's why our tubes are super flexible because you don't want to have a fly that will break for you okay Move the thread back a little bit. <coughs> Sorry. Maybe I need whiskey instead of coffee. Tie in some Mirage. 
and uh, move the mirage back a little bit saving three or four millimeters for my hook tie it in pull it hard cut it away here I'm gonna use two different uh, hollow braids one yellow and one silver and I'm gonna use the silver as a ribbing so I tie in the silver first and then I take the yellow the magma yellow I love this color actually use it a lot and uh, I start by just putting this on as a back part of the back half of what's rest of the tubing cut it off <clears throat> then take a little bit more of the dubbing and here I can uh, I can go with yellow but I prefer to use um, our diamond pearl this diamond pearl is a mix with pearl and a little bit of green and a little bit of blue as with all our SSS synthetics there are many different strands to make this look a bit alive put it on back down create a body that is thicker than the the braid part a little bit more move down then I'm gonna put a little bit of a hackle on here and uh, here I can do uh, either uh, silver badger but I can also do one of these uh, badgers that are dyed yellow and I don't want it to be very long I was too short just because I said that I want to have fairly short fibers on this or it'll be a too bulky fly the nice with the with the badgers are that they have this black part in the middle so you get um, you get a little bit of a center to the fly and I tie it in and I do this the same as I always do on all bodies body hackles I start with one turn before I move this back and uh, three or four turns normally I do four turns on a body like this take this same braid twin it up small body so I'll twin it fairly hard and tie it in crossing over the hackle every turn meaning that if the hackle will break the fly will not be dis destroyed and I tie it in just on the extra small take this away and instead of cutting this I can move the thread just a little bit before I double it back and tie it in that way it can't slip okay okay so doesn't look that sexy to me and uh, I said it before I don't understand why to dub if you don't brush it so I hold this take our meanest little brush here and I pull out these uh, pearl fibers and the pearl fibers will mix with the hackles giving some sparkle but also creating a very translucent fly and uh, of course I want the light to go through the body when I have a wing that is very thin and wide where a lot of the light comes through it okay either I just uh, if I'm lazy and don't care if it looks good or not I can just put a 
bit of thread on a bit of glue and it's done but I can also take a another cone and I slide down a cone and I do the same here little bit of glue put it away from the fly pull down back the materials and pick up the glue you can see how the uh, it's easy to pull this down when you have the fly out of the vise because you, then you just press it down and since it's flexible it just slides all the way down to cover the thread and create a very strong fly again I think this is a really handy little trick instead of trying to cut here maybe me being old but it's so good to put the scissor on the finger and then move the material to the scissor instead this way I can be super accurate and I can cut this just where I want it like that melt it down just a little bit you don't need that much plastic to hold that little cone and if you hold it up like this you're also going to create a good little hole for your leader okay done did it turn out good i think it did and i would say maybe the most <laughs> asked questions i get about fishing BTTs and TTTs is how to adapt this and it's super simple because this part will slide loose on the leader so you slide this on the leader you slide on the body and then you have the leader and you tie on you tie on the hook you're gonna use I fish small trebles I fish small doubles and singles too but the good thing also with the fits tubing is that it's so flexible that you can just pull your hook in there so the hook will be attached to the body and the fly will slide down on top and as I said you want to have this fly to be super extra translucent fish it just with a bare tube maybe that's too long the length will decide where you get your hook I want the hook to be in the center of the fly. Okay, so done. Another good little fly. And um, I always have uh, yellow white wings in my box. And I fish them especially on the super clear river. But also don't forget uh, the big white fly can be really good on the early season too so it's not a pattern that is only used for those days that we did, don't really like with low water and bright sun and you know we hate them but they they're coming up every season anyway okay uh, I don't have the packs here but we of course do our PM packs uh where you have uh, a little pack with materials to tie 10 of those at least 10 depending on how good a tire you are you can tie more too um and also ready flies uh, we have this in three different sizes and and there's uh, six flies in a, a fly pack and um you can subscribe and get the the packs every month in your uh, with your mail and I uh, start by saying that we've been doing this long time and we ship worldwide we get people uh, asking for stuff from Japan and Argentina and the US of course and uh, all over the world so done 34 next time is 35 then it's 36 meaning that we've been doing three full years and uh, we're gonna do something very special for that and um, well 
what should I say? Have a great season and uh, use the, this month now when it's icy and cold outside here in Scandinavia anyway and fill up your boxes. So I'll have another coffee and thank you for watching.